Okay, we went through this in the classroom. Let's show you on the court. The great late Jim Verick, 10 minute warm up drill. Connor's going to hit forehand volleys. RDM's going to hit either a conventional approach pattern or a mini ground stroke, but they're going to move. Jim Verdick would do this the first 10 minutes of every practice. And as I said earlier, how smart Dennis Vandermeer was to have Jim Verdick be in his corner. Hey, no airs, guys, no airs. A lot of people don't know Jim Verdick was a fitness, the Marine fitness champion twice. National fitness champion. Now move, move feet, move your feet. So they do that for a minute. And if they're at a high level, they don't have to stop the ball. Now, Connor, you go back. Now, RDM, you come up. Very difficult for me to watch kids warm up. They need to move. They need to move. Hands away from your the body. All right, now go to the backhand. Connor's in for a backhand volley. So now we're on the third minute. And obviously from this, you can do different variables. Connor needs to go forward on the backhand volley. He has a tendency not to have a backhand grip. Therefore, the angle of the racket face is open. He can't stick the backhand volley. Okay, now switch. Now we're at the fourth minute. And if they're totally engaged, they're not letting the ball bounce at the net, they're not, they're not making the air. Now Connor has a tendency not to have a loop on the backhand. He has a tendency to have the racket face open. I mean, every ball. Hit with a purpose, single mindedness, focus, intent to get better. All right, now Connor's up for alternating volleys. Connor's going down the line. RDM's going cross court. Minute number five. Okay, now they should be able to get a cross step on the backhand volley, then on the forehand volley. If you do this on a clay court, Connor should be able to make a letter X right in front of him, sliding into it. He organizes the ready position, makes a step every time. Now switch. Okay, there's a mistake that shouldn't have happened. Connor took the racket low. Got to keep the racket up high. Artyom, don't spin the racket like that. Get it right back in the ready position. Now, we can't give up on kids today. People say, wow, they can't focus for 10 minutes. Wow, then they can't be a great tennis player. All right, now switch. Connor's up just to line himself up for what we call baby overhead. He's going to set the racket up with the left hand. Get that lob up higher. Now he's going to move. He's going to move quickly in the ready position. He should have the same intensity he has in a match. Quickly ready position. He jumps into the ready position. He hasn't done it quickly yet. It's ready position. That's a little better. Hands away from your body. Okay, index finger on your strings in the ready position. Left hand. All right, Artyom, you're up. So that was real and it was good, but it wasn't real good. Remember, mom and dad, there is no, there is no positive, there is no negative. High level coaching, it just is. So on this side, moving the feet, moving the feet, moving the feet. Okay, so they're not doing this very well. They gotta go up higher, up higher. So I have to take blame. I'm the coach, they don't do it enough. Okay, it's a little bit better. Get that lob up there. So it's minute seven and eight. Now Connor to serve. Artyom's gonna return serve. I want Connor to serve, go through the motion, come in one, two, three, split step. Artyom starts with the ready position. You can return serve blocking it or with topspin. So you just have Connor serve for a minute. Left arm up, power line. I already am, don't run around the backhand. Connor serve to his backhand. So many things that we've repeated in this course, but the movie Hoosiers. Practice is not designed for your pleasure. It's designed for your improvement. Okay, last serve here, serve, one, two, three, split step. Hands out in the ready position. Okay, now in that ready position, Connor's elbow was in here. People will find the easiest way. Write it down, the easiest way is not the best way. RDM to serve, RDM, don't be following the ball with your eyes. Go right up, now you follow the ball with your eyes. Do it again. So RDM, look over here, it's just gonna be the bounce, contact, I should say bounce, target, contact. Don't be following the ball like this. All right, go again. Okay, guys, give each other the high five.